What's going on? Big A, the Mank Geek, coming at you with another edition of my pull list. It's Wednesday, so I'll show you as to what comics I got this week. And yeah, no faffing about this week. Um, just right on into it with uh, Mr. Miracle. Man, I swear, this... I have no idea where this comic is going. I am so confused. But in a good way, not, in, not, not confused in a bad way. But this issue... <laughs> I'm almost scared to say it because it's a bit embarrassing, but it almost made me cry. Like literally, it got to a point in the story where I was reading it and I'm not gonna say what happened because I don't want to spoil it. This book is great. And I think you should definitely, even if you've not got the six other issues, I recommend going out and buying this issue because it's just so real. That's the only way as to know I, I, I know how to describe it. It's, the emotion is real like, it's really peculiar, but yeah, it, it got got to a point in the story where kind of I was trembling a little bit and I was a bit worried and I was quite concerned. And then, yeah, I mean, that, that's all I'm going to say. I can't say anything more than that, but it almost got me, man. It almost hit me right in the feels because this book is something else. What I really like about it is, is you've got Scott and Barda. They're two people who aren't from Earth are trying their best to kind of be normal, but their normal isn't our normal. So what they do is recognizable, but it's very new gods. You know what I mean? It's very new Genesis and Apocalypse, like they're the kind of things that they do and say, but they live amongst us on earth. So it's, it's really peculiar. Um, so yeah, I like that kind of juxtaposition of those two things. But yeah, this book, was great there's no action in this one unfortunately but like i said it's real there's feeling there's emotion there it's something that you can really get behind and it's weird to read a comic with like literally no action in it but it, it it's quite fun in places and then it gets man they get you man it gets quite serious in a few more than one place it got quite serious and yeah i think if uh if you're not reading mr miracle Man, you are doing yourself a disservice. So yeah, definitely, definitely pick this up, Mr. Miracle. It was, it was dope. Got me some sideways from the uh, New Age of Heroes. I've not had a chance to read this one yet. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's crazy awesome and insane and out of this world and like, just really energetic and a fun time. That's what I want from this book because I think it potentially could be that. So yeah, I'm gonna probably give it a read after I've finished actually doing this video. Um, I liked the first issue, so hopefully we've, we've got good things in the second issue. Marvel 2-in-1, Thing in Human Torch. Again, this is another book that I like. I wasn't really expecting much, but then... So I'm just having a bit of a flick through. Yeah, but then it, it kind of did stuff that I was like, ah, oh, this, this seems all right. And I, I actually think the idea of the Fantastic Four, their powers, them losing their powers over time when they're away from one another, that's actually quite interesting. That actually adds in kind of like a new dynamic, which means that they need to kind of be together. They need to be the four in order to maintain their uh, their powers, which is actually quite interesting. So it kind of gives even more reason for Ben and Johnny to find uh, Sue Reed and the kids. But yeah, uh, looking forward to reading that. Bonehead. Yeah, the other issues have been quite decent. It's quite simple. It's it's quite a simple comic. I don't think the world building is the best I've ever seen, but um, but it is quite a simple comic and it's pretty enjoyable. Uh, so that's why I don't mind actually picking it up because it's it's something different. It's got a pretty cool style to it. And uh, and yeah, these guys who, if you go onto the Glitch Instagram, you'll see all the action figures and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, just overall, you know what? It's just, overall, it's just pretty decent. It's like, it's free running, it's cool helmets. It's kind of sci-fi and you know more is being revealed of like the world and stuff so i'm kind of beginning to enjoy it more so uh so yeah i mean i can't recommend this yet because because well i've not i've not i've not read it um if you head on over to my twitter uh you'll probably see as to whether i recommend it once i've actually read it as a little bonus this week because i've been hearing good things about infinity countdown a friend of mine actually um, was it Sunday? He actually told me, he was like, yo, you know what? It's Infinity Countdown, it's pretty good. And then uh, there was the DNC video as well. 
uh, that kind of confirmed that also. So I thought, you know what, I've got the extra cash, so I may as well just get it, give it a read and see what it's saying. And also as a bonus, I got Versus as well. Again, this is another book that people were like, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. So, um, so hashtag, you know, move the needle and that. So I decided to give it uh, a read. I've not read it yet. I've looked at some of the art and the art is, the art is amazing. Like this, this stuff is legit, really good to look at. So, um, so I'm actually looking forward to giving this a read tonight also. Yeah, it looks dope, man. It looks good. Yeah, I'm hoping it's good because then I'll, uh, I'll go out and pick up the second issue because the second issue is out today. I did actually see it at comic store, but I want to make sure that I actually like the first issue before I get the second issue. So that's Mr. Miracle, Sideways, Marvel 2 and 1 thing in Human Torch, Bonehead, Infinity Countdown, and Versus. Let me know as to what you got this week, as to whether you liked what you got or you didn't like what you got, uh, as to whether you've read anything that I recommended in the past or present, or if you're psychic in the future. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, stick around and watch another video if you want. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.